All right, what's going on, guys? It's Tracky here. So, uh, between the last video, uh, franchise video, and this video, I made some uh, pretty big moves. I got a little carried away, so it's a bit unrealistic. But it's the game. It is a game, so you know you gotta cut me a little slack. But um, I'm just gonna show you guys what I did. So transactions completed. All right. So we're just gonna start off with the blockbuster. Just starting it off. Right now, made uh, five or six trades. First one, we got Gio Gonzalez and Ian Kennedy for Jose Batista and Cliff Lee. Now, I wasn't going to get Cli rid of Cliff Lee because he's been doing good, but I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? He's going to start going downhill. He already had. So I was like, you know what? Let's just, you know, get somebody else. <laughs> So we got Ian Kennedy and Gio Gonzalez, also Batista. I felt like we would be able to get rid of him and be okay. Um, you know, he, he is, you know, I, our outfield isn't great now that we got rid of him, but I think we're going to still be okay. Um, so Jose Batista and uh, Cliff Lee for Gio Gonzalez and Ian Kennedy to help our uh, rotation out, which I really, really like that. So next trade, we get Kelvin Herrera for R.A. Dickey and two minor leaguers. Love it. Needed to, needed to work on that bullpen. Next trade. Lucas Duda for Luke Gregerson. Um, Lucas Duda had been very cold, and once again, I wanted to work on that bullpen. Alright. Um, and you guys probably already saw in the beginning, but we do get a uh, pretty decent upgrade at first base. We're just stuck in one position now. But anyway. We get Sergio Romo and Michael Pineda from, or for Joe Nathan and... Koji Uehara and Martin Perez. Now, the reason I did I got rid of Nathan and Uehara is one, they have high salary. Two, they're gonna go down and overall. So I went ahead and we got us a closer and we got a starting pitcher for a starting pitcher, um, and we freed up some cap room, so that's good. Or not cap room, but just you know salary that we have available to use. Um, and now here, this one's a this one's not as big. Um, we get Jerry Blevins for Randy Choate and Frazier. Uh, and now moving up here, this is uh, another pretty big one. Um, Prince Fielder for Jimmy Rollins. Now, the only problem with this trade is now second base and shortstop are very odd. Um, and I need to fix this lineup, but that's just the trades we did. Um... So, yeah, guys, uh, I have no idea how I'm going to set this lineup up, but uh, I'll see you guys in the game. What's going on, guys? It's Tracky here, and today we got another Texas Rangers franchise video. Today we're taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. We're 15-15. and 15. They're 14-17. and 17. We're at 500. They're three games under. And we're ready to get into this. You know, we made some big trades, and uh, we want to see, you know, if it paid off, if it's going to work out for us. And uh, I'm really hoping it will. So you see we got Javier Baez, Anthony Rendon, Mike Trout, Nelson Cruz, Prince Fielder, Diane Vecito, Philip Ka, Jan Gomes, and Draw Dyson. Uh, I figured this was the best way to put the lineup. Um, you know, Baez and Dyson, are they can change. But I figured, you know, putting uh, Baez at the top might give him some more fastballs. And uh, we're taking on Matt Moore today. He's had a pretty solid season so far. 287 ERA, 38 strikeouts, and 31 innings. So uh, taking on a pretty decent lefty. So Javier Baez, his first game back in the majors after being sent down to the minors. Um, and let's see what he's going to do. He's going to fly out to right. So that will be an easy, easy out for the Tampa Bay Rays. Now we got Mr. Mike Trout up here. He is going to take this one right back up the middle, as he did on Ventura. And... Uh, He's going to have the first hit of the game. So, before I get into the Royals, let's just go ahead and see what uh, what happens here. Nelson Cruz takes this one to, let's see, is that deep center? Nah, not really. Just takes that to center field, and it'll be an out. So, nothing comes on the Mike Trout hit. Um, and then let's quickly go ahead and look at the Rays lineup. Um, I think they actually had a pretty decent team, to be honest, if I do remember right. I mean, they were they were solid. Uh, Carlos Gomez, Daniel Murphy, Josh Harrison, Pedro Alvarez, Jason Hayward, Ian Desmond, 
Robinson, Chernos, JPR, and CB, and somebody else. So that first six is pretty solid. And uh, here you can see we get Joe Gonzalez making his first start for us. Uh, his ERA is a bit high, 3-8, 82, 33 innings, 27 strikeouts. But um, overall, I, I I really like this trade. You know, it's basically Cole – or was it Cole? Jesus Christ. Cliff Lee for Joe Gonzalez. Really like that. Uh, and you can see here um, he's going to get a, his first – I, I believe that was the first bat. Uh, he's going to get a nice grounder to third to get Carlos Gomez out. So, anyway, get into the Royals. Uh, you know, my commentary yesterday, they were 7-0 coming in, and uh, I made that on Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, probably Tuesday, I think. Yeah, Tuesday. Um, they were 7-0, and uh, they've lost the Twins twice now, and basically baseball happened. You know, it was, it was bound to happen. Like I said, they were going to lose. Um, it, it, it's baseball. You're not going to be 16-0 and like an NFL football team can. You know, you're know, you going to lose. You're not going to be 162-0 and in the, in the end of the year. It's never going to ever happen. Ever. Ever. But anyway, that's just, you know, just thought I would, uh, just, you know, since I talked about that like a lot last video, I thought I would get into that. Um, also, I'm going to look to deal A-Rod for something soon. You know, as much... <sighs> oh, right here, I think this, like... The stadium glitches here since it's a dome. I think the like time of day was changing or something, and I, I don't know what happened. But anyway, um, Mike Trout just absolutely rips this one into right field. But uh, where was I going with this? Oh man, I cannot remember. Oh, Arod. I don't. You know, as many trades as I made, I made some really unrealistic trades and just over traded a lot. Um, and I don't. I don't want to keep doing that. So. If I, if I deal A-Rod, it's going to be for some prospects or something. Uh, someone that's not going to be immediate effective. An immediate, you know, person we bring out to the majors and expect to play. As you can see, Nelson Cruz drives on a run here with a uh, gapper. And uh, I believe that will be the only thing that happens in the third there. But we're up 1-0 to zero, mid-third. So, you know, just a little replay there for you guys. But uh, I, I, I don't know. Um... The other thing is, I'm trying to decide how many seasons I want to do with this franchise. You know, originally, oh, and here's a great play by the big man, Prince Fielder. I thought I really was happy when he made that play, but I'm trying to decide if I want to do, you know, part of me wants to do one season because the OSFM rosters are out now, and I kind of want to do a Royals franchise, but at the same time, you know, I can always do two franchises at a time, but I don't know that I want to do that. So I think we're going to try to get two seasons out of this franchise at least. I, you know, that's about 40 videos, give or take, uh, not counting postseason, because I figured it's going to take four to five videos per month. Um, so I don't know. I'm looking at 20 to 25 videos per season, hopefully. So, but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get back to this game. So Gio Gonzalez is dealing, and here's Javier Baez's first hit since being called up from AAA again after starting the season. Uh, pretty cold and then being sent down. Um, so he's back up now, and uh, hopefully that's that's going to be the start of something great. You know, we need to get him on base, and uh, Nelson Cruz is going to strike out of here. But Javier Baez really has a lot of potential. Uh, we just need him to not strike out, and we need him to get base hits so he can get on the base. You know, he's not a speed demon, but uh, he's definitely someone you would like to have on the bases because he can run. And, uh, you know, I, I just I really hope that he's able to play good for us. So here, Prince Fielder, probably second or third at bat of the game. He's just going to scold this one into left field. Uh, you know, it'll be a, it'll just go as a single, but great contact. Uh, that's what we need Prince Fielder for. I think he's a pretty good upgrade over Lucas due to bringing some more power. Um, so, and uh, yeah. Oh, also, I forgot to mention we got the pink bats today. You guys probably already noticed. I thought that was uh, kind of interesting that I chose this game um, to go to the pink bats. I think it's for Mother's Day, if I'm not right. Let me know what it is. Pretty sure it's Mother's Day, though. And uh, you see here, just a nasty, nasty curve there from Gio Gonzalez. And uh, here's Dyson. He's going to put down a bunt. Uh, and they're going to call him out at first, even though it looks like he was safe. So we're going to go ahead and have our first challenge, I believe, of this series. Uh, I've only used it two or three other times on the actual game. But here we're going to come out and challenge this. Because I was pretty sure he was on. You can see there, he's on. I mean, he is he's on first base. He definitely beat the throw. Um, it wasn't a great bunt, 
but, you know, Dyson's fast. And uh, speaking of Dyson, he is playing right field right now since Alex Rios is hurt. And uh, if you guys want a million dollar deal, and you can see there, they call him safe. If you guys, if any inventors or engineers or whatever out there want a good idea, you know, Alex Rios broke his hand. Why, why can't we make batting gloves? that the tops have like maybe like a metal plate in them like you know nothing that's going to really interfere i just feel like you know that top, that part of your hand that top part of your hand not on your fingers because they're wrapped around the bat but that that top part like I, i'm trying to i'm touching my hand right here and i can't explain it but i feel like you could put like a metal a piece of like metal in there that's like i don't know like a, I, I don't know i feel like you can protect that part though so you don't break your hand um, but you can see there, Anthony Rendon drove in Dyson, I believe, and Dyson did steal second, so that really helped. So, Rendon is on first or second, and they're going to come out here and get Matt Moore off the mound. Uh, he had a pretty solid performance, you know, today. I mean, I'm, he did he did what he was supposed to do. That's what you look to get out of a starter. I can't, I don't, let's see how many innings he went, but, uh, you know, he, he was, he did pretty solid. Um, okay, so they bring in Brian... Schlitter, uh, he's been in 11 games, a 6-4-3 ERA, 14 innings, only four strikeouts, and uh, well, that's going to be five. He's got a strike guy. The, AL, the, the reigning AL MVP, Mike Trout out, but uh, Anthony Rendon is going to come out there and, you know, he's going to give us that one more run, that inning that we needed. So here we get, uh, I don't even know who that is swinging, but uh, just made him look silly. And uh, right there we walk Jason Hayward, so he's going to be on first. Um, decent speed on first now, so we got to be careful, kind of. But uh, it's all right because Ian Desmond's going to take pitch or strike three. I'm just going to look at it, and that no, another floating curveball in there. And uh, whoever that was that hit it will get tagged out on his way to first. So. Overall, we're performing really well today. Our pitching is doing great, and we're uh, we're not hitting great, but we are hitting. And here is our first kind of mistake. Uh, I don't know what I was doing. Uh, I got to the wall way before the the ball got there, and Carlos Gomez took that all the way to center field. I threw to third instead of the cutoff man, and he's easily going to get an inside the park home run. Uh, just completely my fault. I thought that you know the ball I timed it better, but I obviously didn't at all so it bounces off the wall Trout has to run it down and then he throws it in the third kind of slow um, but it didn't matter because Gomez would come home with an inside the park home run so Joe Gonzalez back out on the mound now trying to finish this off but this time Mike Trout almost overruns the ball uh, but will catch it and uh, get the third out so end of the eighth I think I am my like the quality on my preview screen is bad, so that doesn't like lag or anything. Yeah, uh, we were up two to one. We're gonna bring Kelvin Kelvin Herrera, our new toy in here, two thirty three ERA and in nineteen innings with twenty four strikeouts. So um, he's just gonna come in and shut this down and get the save because I think Sergio Romo is a bit tired. And uh, there's one backwards K. And two backwards Ks. So Herrera just comes in and dominates. He did walk the guy that you guys saw in first there. So we are going to get the 2-1 victory. Um, didn't blow him out like we did in the last episode, but you know what? It's baseball, man. One run is enough to get it done. Uh, you don't need to blow him out every time. So I'm um, really happy with the changes we made. Joe Gonzalez pitched really, really well. Uh, we'll have, I believe, Michael Waka in the next episode. So uh, make sure you come back next time to see that. Um, I think, you know, the changes we made were a bit unrealistic, but overall they will help us a ton. Uh, if Javier, the, the key here is Javier Baez has to perform because otherwise we have no shortstop. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's dead simple. We have no shortstop if Javier Baez does not perform. Uh, we're playing Philip Caw at third and, uh, Anthony Rendon at second. Uh, so we don't have any other options really. I mean, those three positions, we have three guys that play those positions. That's it. So, that's kind of what we're working with right now. Our outfield, I think, is going to be solid. And uh, I'm really happy with the way this is going so far. Um, Joe Gonzalez, player of the game. Eight inning pitch, three hits, one earned, a walk, and 12 strikeouts. Uh, so, very, very, very solid performance there. 
think I need to turn up my difficulty a little bit. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that because, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, because, like, maybe I should turn up my pitching difficulty. Um, because hitting, I still, I don't struggle with, but, you know, it's on dynamic. So, but maybe I should just go ahead and bump the pitching up to all-star or something. But, I don't know, this video is coming to an end, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and uh, any feedback you have for me, leave it in the comments section. That's what it's for. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And possibly there will be, actually, there will be a one-up on Saturday. This is going to be three days in a row, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You have my word. Leave some runners on base with 13 hits. Only got two across, but it's all right because we won. Beat the Tampa Bay. You know, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.